This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your MLB Early Lines report for the games taking place on Friday, August the 26th. Uh, we're going to get right to it. We're going to look at the Seattle Mariners taking on the Chicago White Sox. And the White Sox are a favorite in this game. And I will tell you right now, there's only one reason why that is, and it's Chris Sale. That's it. I mean, what other reason could you possibly give for the White Sox to be a favorite here over the Seattle Mariners, a team still very much alive in the American League wildcard race that needs wins like they need oxygen right now. And yet here are the White Sox who are playing just absolutely lousy baseball right now and have played lousy baseball for weeks, if not months, you know, in this price range where they're favored here over the Seattle Mariners. To me, you have to play Seattle or you have to leave the game alone. And what I am doing is playing Seattle in this game. You know, Chris Sale, obviously we know he's an elite pitcher. He has been very good again this season. There's no denying that whatsoever. But the team around him just flat out stinks. Let's be honest. That's that's the uh, bottom line right now. They've had a, just a terrible last couple of months after a strong start to the season. Chris Sale, in fact as good as he's pitched, and he has pitched well. I mean, you'll go back and the, see the way he's performed uh, in his last several outings. He's given up three runs or less in the majority of those starts, but the White Sox still aren't winning a boatload of games with him on the mound. In fact, White Sox just 2-5 and five, uh, in Chris Sale's last seven trips to the mound. That's definitely not great. On the flip side, there's nothing wrong with what we're seeing from King Felix Hernandez as of late. You know, he went through a little bit of a lull uh, midway through the season where he struggled a bit, especially with the walks. But what now? Right, what we're seeing right now is a Felix Hernandez that's really adjusting his pitching style. He's not that flamethrower, that hard thrower that he was, you know, early in his career. He just can't top the radar gun that big anymore. So he's really re- re- tweaked his mechanics. He's now more of a soft tosser, but, you know, very crafty in terms of working both sides of the plate working uh, up and down in the zone, and also just trying to keep the hitters off balance. And that uh, philosophy has worked for Felix Hernandez, especially as of late. Uh, Seattle is 6-1 and one in uh, Felix Hernandez's last seven starts. You look at what he's done in his last three outings facing Detroit, the LA Angels, and Milwaukee. Uh, he's allowed just four runs uh, in his last 21.2 innings of work, so very good numbers indeed. Uh, for uh, Felix Hernandez during that time. Five runs, I should say, in his last 21.2 innings of work. Seattle uh, is, again, winning more often than not lately with uh, Felix Hernandez on the mound. Really, this is a price uh, uh, more than anything as to why I like Seattle. To me, the value is definitely on their side. They're the better of these two teams. You know, if Sale does have a pitching edge, it's a very, very small edge if there is one at all. You could argue that Felix Hernandez has been every bit as good lately as Chris Sale. To me, that's more than enough to get involved with Seattle here, about plus 115, plus 120, actually, you could get almost. Plus 119 available right now at bookmaker slash Chris with Seattle as a road underdog here. Absolutely, we'll be looking to back the Mariners here uh, in this game. White Sox don't deserve to be favored. Uh, at all right now, especially against this team of this caliber here facing the Seattle Mariners. I know the Mariners, by the way, have a couple injury concerns going into this game. Nelson Cruz, Kyle Seager uh, have been banged up the last couple of days. You're going to want to see if they're in the lineup, but even if they aren't, uh, I'm still going to be looking toward uh, the Seattle side for sure uh, on Friday night. Other than that, kind of interested in Cincinnati with Brandon Finnegan on the mound against Arizona. Arizona favorite at home is automatically something I'm looking in, to bet against, something I'm interested in betting against. Uh, problem is Finnegan did struggle against Arizona earlier this season, but that's definitely a Cincinnati or pass game for me there uh, as they face the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Cubs and Dodgers, big National League matchup there. Bud Norris has been very average and even very bad at times on the road, but at Dodger Stadium, Bud Norris has pitched pretty well for the most part, so I'd be reluctant to go against him problem is backing the Dodgers near even money against a lefty. I know Mike Montgomery isn't an elite lefty uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Used to be with Seattle. Now he's with the Cubs. But Dodgers haven't been hitting lefties. That's pretty much been that way all season. They've struggled against the left-handed side, against the southpaws. Uh, so for that reason, you got conflicting factors going on there. So I'm probably going to pass on betting that game. Uh, Atlanta-San Francisco, if you can trust this dormant Giants lineup to come alive, 
there should be some runs scored in that game. I don't trust Jeff Samarja. I, I, I haven't trusted him for a while. He may give up some runs here. If the Giants' bats are going to come alive and finally do something, they should here against Dela Cruz. Dela Cruz, to me, doesn't have... Uh, major league rotation caliber stuff right now. Uh, he's proven that so far uh, in his uh, brief stint here with the Atlanta Braves. I could see some runs being scored in that game. Got to trust the Giants lineup to get out of this ridiculous funk they're in, uh, but I think they have the chance to there. I'd lean over the total of eight uh, in that game, uh, Braves and Giants on uh, Friday night. Also looking at Kluber over Perez with Cleveland against Texas. Medium-sized road favorite uh, with Kluber, but Kluber's going this way pitching better and better and better, and Perez is going in the other direction. Uh, it's been a rough second half of the season for Martin Perez. Regression has really hit him hard. Uh, it's really a question of value if you want to lay that kind of price with Cleveland on the road, especially Texas does have a good home record, but obviously in that game I'm going to be looking at either Kluber and the Indians or past that game. Uh, Cleveland or nothing for me uh, would be the choice in that one. All right, that's my look at MLB early lines for the games taking place on Friday, August 26th. I'm sports handicapper Ian Cameron. So we're giving you picks every day, and you're probably making your own as well. Be sure to participate in SBR's weekly Twitter bankroll challenge. Just post your picks on Twitter with at SBR Sports Picks and the hashtag BetSBR before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, Monday through Friday. We'll be betting your picks, and if the bankroll is positive at the end of the week, you could win the profits. Picks must be of events taking place that day and available in at least one of the major sportsbooks shown in our Best Sportsbooks page.